Hi guys, Becky Tim's here live for The Drive at Five, and today I wanted to do a whiteboard training and ask you how or do you analyze your products for Amazon? Or if you don't sell on Amazon, if you have any type of business, do you analyze your product lines um, that you sell? And if you don't do that, do you analyze for the places where you may market or things like that? Hi, Sherry. Thanks for joining. So what I'm going to show you is a tool that you can use. It's called the BCG Matrix, which is the Boston Consulting Group Matrix. And this is something that I learned in marketing school when I was working on my MBA, but it's something that's proved itself invaluable time and time and time again as I find products to um, private label and sell on Amazon. So I'm going to put a title up here. Just so you'll know, it's called the BCG, oh, BCG, hold on, I'm going to knock the lamp down, BCG matrix. And what you want to do is you have an x-axis here, and on your x-axis, this is your market share. So I'm going to write this here, hopefully pretty big, so you can see it. And basically what market share is, it's, it's your size of your business in comparison to others. So I'm going to put size in comparison. And then um, for the market share, this is going to be high and this is going to be low. And then on the y-axis, that's where you have the growth rate. Growth rate. And basically what the growth rate means, this is the speed that the industry is increasing. So how fast is the industry growing? So I'm going to put industry speed. Okay. And on this axis, what you have is high here and low here. So I'm going to circle high, low, low, high. This is your growth rate, and this is your market share. Okay, so we're just going to draw an X here, or not an X, but a cross. And so basically, you're going to put all of your products that you have into four categories. You're going to have your stars. You're going to have your question marks. You're going to have your cash cows, because I can't draw a cow, but your cash cow. And then here you're going to have your dogs or dog, D-O-G. And so you may be saying, my gosh, Becky, what are you talking about? So basically, every product that you start off with usually starts right here. It's a question mark. And so it, this, it's risky, right? So you can punch, put a lot of money into it. That means that it has low market share, but the industry is, is growing really fast. So, um, this is risky right here, so we're going to put risky. So think about your stars are the ones that have high um, growth rate and also high market share. So this is the one where you'll put, put a lot of money into this because you have the research and development, you have the marketing and things of that nature. So think about when Apple came out with the iPod. The iPod was a star for Apple that when when it first came out but think of all those other companies that were put they saw that digital music was going to be huge and they were just putting money in and putting money in and putting money in well they actually lost because apple um captured the market with their ipod so where i'm at and what i want you to do is i want you to get cash cows this is where you have high market share and low um, growth rate. So in this category, this is where you um, you no longer have to pump money into it for advertising. You no longer have to um, like build new manufacturing plants or things of that nature. So if I were to give you an example, uh, Coca-Cola, the red can, that's a cash cow for Coca-Cola right there. The red, the red plastic. So they they no longer have to advertise Coke. If you say Coke, you automatically think of the red can. So they can take this Coke, the money, this is where the money is, money, money, money. And the concept is, is that you want to milk this, this cash cow 
to give you that you can pump in here to either make this a star, hopefully a star, or and then a dog. And then just think though, even if it's a star today, it's not going to stay a star because think about iPod. I mean, not many people purchase iPods anymore. So um, usually the stars will either fall here to the um, cash cows. And then there's the dogs. Dogs are like low market share and low um, growth rate. And basically with the dogs, you want to liquidate them as soon as you can um, to, you know, so that you can um, free up that money to do something else. Ho hopefully invest in another product that can become a star, which can then become a cash cow. But what you ultimately want to do is you want to have a lot of cash cows that give you money so that you can reinvest into new products. Now, with my own private label journey, I have cash cows, I have stars, I have some that are just starting. I had, had, H-A-D, a dog. When I have a dog, I, um, I got rid of that product, so I no longer have a dog right now in my business. But ultimately, a well-balanced business will have each of these three. Now, notice in the Boston Consulting Group Matrix, it does not talk about profitability because those are totally, um, it's separate. This is just one tool that you can use to analyze your product. You know, the stars are the visible, attractive ones. And so just want to um, tell or encourage you to look at your business, your products, your market line in the exact same way. And um, hopefully you can come up with some cash cows or identify your dogs and get rid of them as well. So that's what I wanted to share today on The Drive at Five. I hope you all have an amazing Wednesday. If you found this helpful and you wanna learn how to find your stars and your cash cows, then join me tomorrow night on um, a live webinar. It's at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's privatelabelcourse.com and I will show you the exact four steps that I use to find my cash cows and my stars. Have an amazing day. Bye.